Before you and your baby leave the hospital after birth, your baby will undergo PKU testing. This involves obtaining several drops of blood from your baby's heel and then applying it to a filter paper. This is then sent to the state lab and ARUP for further testing. A second test will be done with your pediatrician at your baby's two-week appointment in the office. These tests are really important and are looking for 39 different genetic, metabolic, and hemoglobin conditions. If these conditions are found, and they are rare, they can be life-threatening, and so early intervention is key. Specific treatments for them may include special diets, special formulas, and medication. If left untreated, children with these conditions may have developmental delays, severe anemia, sepsis, and even death. Other things that are screened for are genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. If these genetic problems are found, then the, the parents are referred to a genetic counselor who can talk to them about plans for their children and their children's children in the future. After your baby has their PKU test done, follow up with your pediatrician's office and they'll be able to give you the results. If any abnormalities are seen, then you can expect the nurses at the Utah Department of Health to work with you and your pediatrician to make sure that your child has the best and most current care possible. If you'd like more information on the topic, you can visit the website below. And if you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.